Alrighty, today we're going to be taking a look at this septic system. We can see right here that we have a four inch pipe. This is designed to clean out the sewer line between the house and the septic tank. Its sole purpose is in case something gets lodged in the line, causing a backup, rather than open the pipe inside the house, you can open it out here and keep all that sewage outside. Over here, we're walking towards the septic tank. Take note that there is a small evergreen planted right above the tank. Very bad idea to install a tree directly over top of your septic tank because one day this thing is going to get big and cause problems. Right now, if we look into the inlet side riser, we can see that there is actually a good amount of roots coming in right at the base of that riser. Right now, we're looking at the PVC front baffle. You can see the roots down there. They're not super big right now, but one day when this tree gets huge, those roots could potentially lift the riser up a little bit higher, allowing groundwater into the system. And worse, if those roots start working their way towards the inlet, potentially causing a clog and a backup. So what we're gonna to suggest to this homeowner is to remove the tree and reseal that riser. Coming back over here, we're at the outlet side riser. This is going to be the second chamber of this two chamber tank. We can see that the back baffle is in place. It is slightly cockeyed, so it just kind of shows a little bit less of a good install from whoever put this in. Um, best practice with these two chamber tanks is to pump out both sides every time you get them cleaned. The reason that there's two chambers is a majority of the solids will get stuck in the first chamber, leaving the second chamber to finish clarifying off any of the remaining liquid. As water is introduced, it will go over into a box called the distribution box, which we can see over here. Take note, it is also near these evergreens. No roots were observed inside the distribution box. We could see the water flowing easily from the septic tank to the box and then to the three drain fields, which we'll see in a few seconds. The distribution box is a little concrete box. Uh, generally in our area, they're 18 by 12, and it's just there to evenly disperse the effluent between all three of the drain fields. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk over towards the drain fields, which are over here. In our area, since, or since 2016, we've been required to have these observation ports at the end of all of our drain fields. These are designed so that way, if you start seeing stagnant water, you can start to determine what's going on inside of the trench. Right here, we see in the first trench that there's a little bit of water at the bottom of it. This is a 20 year old system, so it's not to be surprised to see a little bit of water. We're gonna move over to the other one and see what that one also looks like. It's best practice every year just to kind of pop these open, take a look, see how your system's functioning. We'll see inside of here that there's also a little bit of liquid, but not too much to be concerned about. It looks like over 90% of the drain field is still dry. The next spot we're going to go to is the third observation port. The issue with this one is that it must have gotten hit or during the installation process, somebody kind of cockeyed it. So you can't really see too well down this pipe. But what we used was a camera, threw it down the line just to see if we see any liquid. And in this circumstance, we did not. After that, we're going to go ahead and run some more water through the septic system, see if anything changes. Ideally, when you're putting water in, nothing changes at all. This homeowner was concerned because it's been about five years since they've had anybody look at any anything septic related, but I think overall they're in pretty good shape with a couple minor little little repair requirements. This tank's going to get pumped out in the next few weeks, so that way they can go another three to five years without any major impacts. As a reminder, do not put a tree over top of your septic tank. It can and will cause problems. It's just something that you can hide a septic system lid a lot easier than using a tree.